So let's talk performance differences between the metal combustors and the ceramic combustors. Uh, any performance differences really come from uh, the ability of the metal catalyst to have thinner cell walls in comparison to its ceramic counterpart. So if you look closely at the difference between these two, the metal uh, catalyst is going to have more cells per square inch. And that is a direct result of the thinner cell walls, which is only achievable by using metal. The ceramic combustor, uh, because of what it's made out of ceramic, uh, in order to stay intact, needs thicker cell walls here, uh, resulting in a little bit more surface area uh, in comparison to the metal combustor, which has less frontal surface area. Ultimately, that's going to allow more smoke to pass through uh, the combustor because there's less flat surfaces on the front uh, to obstruct smoke flow. So the metal combustor will have better airflow through the combustor because of that uh, much less frontal surface area because of those thinner cell walls. Also, because of the thinner cell walls and the fact that uh, it can then pack more cells per square inch than the ceramic counterpart is as the smoke is flowing through the metal one, you'll actually have more internal surface area per square inch for that catalytic process to happen uh, and to reignite any unburned particulate as it passes through the catalyst. One other nice advantage of the metal combustor in comparison to the ceramic is because it is made of metal, it will actually get up to operating temperature faster than the ceramic combustors. Uh, so they both need the same temperature to become active, uh, but the metal one will get to that temperature faster, uh, allowing you to engage your bypass to use the combustor earlier than you would with a ceramic combustor. Other than uh, the cosmetics and the uh, possible increase in efficiency uh, because of the more cells per square inch, one of the main reasons a lot of people are moving towards the uh, metal catalysts as compared to the ceramic catalysts uh, is longevity. Now, I don't want you to be mistaken. By longevity, I'm not talking about the uh, useful lifespan of the catalyst material uh, that's plated on these, right? So these are both rated at approximately 12,000 hours before that uh, platinum and palladium uh, plating uh, doesn't, doesn't work anymore, right? It's, it's actually not the substrate that's doing the work, it is those precious metals that are doing the work. Uh, the uh, 12,000 hours is really the same between the two. However, if you have had trouble in the past with your ceramic substrate cracking, crumbling, and pot potentially falling apart prematurely, uh, before you reach those 12,000 hours, that's where the metal uh, really starts to shine. Uh, the ultimate goal, of course, is to get your full 12,000 hours of useful lifespan out of a combustor. You can get that out of a ceramic, however, it is more susceptible to those temperature fluctuations that lead to the cracking uh, and ultimate crumbling of the substrate in this combustor. The uh, metal and nicely is impervious to cracking and crumbling. And so you should be able to much more readily uh, know that you can get that full lifespan uh, out of the coating that's been applied on here. That said, uh, metal is not indestructible. So uh, if you subject it to conditions uh, that could potentially warp it out of shape, uh, if you've ever had trouble with your ceramic where the actual can is warped due to extreme temperatures, uh, that can still obviously affect a metal combustor as well. Uh, also, they are susceptible to flame impingement, uh, just like the ceramic ones. So if you get flames roaring through this combustor, that could uh, definitely kill the uh, platinum and palladium coating that is put on these, uh, effectively rendering it useless. Uh, even though the substrate won't have crumbled, uh, 
uh, it's possible to kill the plating, so you still want to be careful in that regard. Hope this information helps.